Well, good evening, everybody. I'm Ty House, and welcome to WAVE Channel 5 High School Basketball. Alex Warner and I are bringing you tonight's action. That's the first game of the 2017-2018 basketball season as the Greenville Green Wave will play host to the Northmont Thunderbolts. With me, as always, at the pregame show, Coach's Corner is Coach Kyle. Joseph and Kyle, I know you hold on two jobs, but tonight's basketball. He's also our assistant athletic director fans, but tonight uh, we got a Northmont team coming in, and they've graduated a lot of folks like we did last year, so it'd be kind of new on both teams. But uh, tell us about the wave more. We got some new faces coming in, or old faces, but a little bit new coming in terms of uh, varsity yeah, strikes. Guys, guys uh, certainly a fair amount of guys who are new to the varsity level, um, but I, I'm really excited about this year's team. Um, just because I, I think it's a group that uh, we talked the other day about kind of what we think our strengths are um, and just how hard we're going to play and how much we're going to play together as a team. Um, we have a lot of interchangeable parts. Um, and, you know, we'll, we know that we're not always going to be perfect and there's going to be plenty of mistakes, but uh, the, they're committed to playing through all of them together. Well, your team last year finished 13 to 10, a fine season, and 9 to 6 in the uh, division. But and it's one of your your teams, the caliber teams. They play very hard. Your kids play hard all the way. So that's something that really come to expect out of your team's coach. Yeah, that that was a big thing that we talked about going into last year. We wanted to you know really pick up our intensity and try and you know play as hard as we can every game, all game. Um, and I thought last year guys did a great job buying into that and. And we've had even more time with them now, and we want to, We talked about taking another step from there um, and, and try to keep building on that. Well, tell us about some of the players you got coming back this year that you're counting on to be the core of this club. Um, well, we, we, like I said, we have a lot of interchangeable parts. So just kind of, you know, we got ball handlers. We got Marcus Wood, who, who was, was on varsity last year. Um, Kyle Mills, who, who played on varsity last year. Um, we got some younger kids. Uh, Grant Minnick, um, Tyler Bikey, Noah Walker. Like I said, those, those group of guys are all, um, you know, they they're all they all can handle the ball some. They can all shoot some. Um, and I think one of our strengths is our, our ability to make plays for others. Um, and then kind of grouped together, you got Will Coomer, who, who played for us last year. Um, Noah Van Horn, who, who got some varsity time last year. And Ethan Emmerich. Um, and once again, all, all different but um, bring some of the same things to the table as well. well. That's really good. It makes you a lot of pieces of the pie, you know, or pieces of the puzzle put together to make a nice picture. Right, yeah, and it, and we talked about, you know, like I said, that being a strength of we, we can sub and not have to change how we play um, and, and just just kind of keep the momentum going instead of, all right, now we got a different group. What can we do with this group? And we, we can play the same way um, all game long. That's really good. Well, Coach, Hope to a great season. Let's get this first win for the Wave. Good luck, Coach, tonight. Yep, Let's you. get the first of many. Well, Alex will be back for uh, more pregame comments in a moment. Five is the Greenville Green Wave play host to the Northmont Thunderbolts as we open up the 2017-18 season. Alex Warner, along with Ty House, glad you could join us as always. 22nd year of high school basketball here on the Wave Channel 5. And Ty, this is going to be an interesting contest tonight. You have two ball clubs, some unknowns because both teams lost a ton of seniors from last year's ball club. That's right. We've lost but 13 and 10 and lost 88% of their scoring. Northmont, on the other hand, went 20 and 5, an outstanding ball club. And again, a very much senior oriented team that graduated quite a bit. So you're right, Alex. It should be interesting to see how these teams mesh their first game of the season. And uh, if you talk to Coach uh, Joseph this pregame, he's excited about his opportunity for his kids. He said, My bench is deep enough that. I don't have to change my game plan or my play when I got people coming in. So be interested to hear those guys mesh. And same thing for Northmont. You know, it's exciting for the first game for everybody. But, again, a lot of newness. Greenville lost almost 90% of their scoring from last year. Northmont almost 95% of the scoring with those departing seniors. So it's going to be interesting. These kids are finally getting a chance. It's going to be able to see how these seniors and then some of the juniors, they've kind of had to back up guys like, you got a Clay Giusey, Isaiah Gable, Peter Pandy, Aaron Rich. So they're getting their chance tonight. It's going to be interesting to see how they respond, where the responsibility is on their shoulder, and instead of just coming in for junk time at the end of the ball game. That's right. Well, you know, that's exactly it. Some of these guys got some play a lot of time last year. I know uh, Will Comer got some playing time quite a bit and, and a few others, but 
Uh, you're right, Alex. We lose 88 percent, and then those guys had stellar careers. All four of them are playing uh, college basketball, so been tough not to crack that lineup. Anyway, should be exciting tonight. I'm ready to start our 22nd season here on uh, WAVE Channel 5. Tomorrow night, we're going to have the second half of a weekend doubleheader. Fort Recovery's Indians come down here, and that'll be interesting because their new head coach this year, longtime Green Bay head coach, who had tremendous success over the last three or the last four years, and Mike Bashar brings his ball club down Route 49. But tonight, first things first, we've got to handle these Northmont Thunderbolts. Todd will be back in a little bit. Take a look at tonight's starting lineups as you watch high school basketball here on the Wave Channel 5. Welcome back, everybody. Greenville High School Gymnasium. The callers will be presented by the members of the Greenville Navy Junior ROTC program. Nicely done by the Greenville Pet Band. And thanks to the members of the Navy Junior ROTC program here at Greenville High School. Well, Alex, ready for some basketball. Number season number 22 for the Time Warner, for the Ty Warner uh, Cable <laughs> Network. And this year we promise we're gonna get it right. We're gonna get better. Yeah, God, we're gonna get it right this and year. And we're gonna respond to all those friendly letters that are by the census. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we got a nice sized crowd on hand here for opening night, too. So let's see if the Wave can bring home a victory. It's uh, again a Northmont ball club. Comes in off of a 20 and 5 record last year, but lost their seven of their top leading scores. And so a uh, new adventure for Coach Colin Abel and his uh, green and white Northmont Thunderbolts. Starting at one forward, wearing number zero, a 6'6 senior, Dawson Walker. Donovan Wallace is a 5'8. Senior wears number two. Cameron Rucker wears number three. He's a 5'11 senior. Jamal Linson, a 6'3 senior, wears number 10. And rounding out the starting lineup for the Thunderbolts, number 23, Ryan Four, Foy. He's a 6'4 inch senior. So again, it's Walker zero, Wallace two, Rucker three, Linson 10, and Foy 23. Now for the homestanding green and white Greenville Green Wave under the direction of second year head coach, Kyle Joseph. Wave coming off a 13 and 10 season last year, but again, just like Northmont, lost both of their scoring due to graduation. For the Wave, a five foot nine inch sophomore, Marcus Wood will wear number one. Marcus played quite a bit as a freshman on the varsity level last year. Wearing number 10 is six foot one inch senior, Kyle Mills. Number 13 is six foot one inch junior, Noah Walker. Wearing number 30, six foot four inch senior, Will Coomer. Leading scorer coming back from last year's team. 
And wearing number 32 to complete the starting five, Noah Van Horn, a six foot five inch senior. So again, for Kyle Joseph's green and white, Wood one, Mills 10, Walker 13, Coomer 30, and Van Horn 32. Todd, you haven't had the officials by any chance? Yes, we do. The officials of tonight's contest are Eric Anderson, Perry Grett, and Frank White. Well, there's always some excitement. When, well, there's always excitement in basketball, yeah. but opening night, everybody starts the season undefeated, right? That's right. It's a long way from here till uh, tournament time come the end of February, and a lot of things could happen. Let's hope there's good things for this uh, Greenville Ball Club yes, this year. Yes, get one tonight and get a bunch later. Well, I mentioned our cameraman producer tonight from the uh, Channel 5 crew over here at uh, Greenville High School is Tyler Fleming. Tyler back with us tonight, bringing you all the action here. 22 years high school basketball here on the way of Channel 5, and stepping in will be Walker to jump against number 32 for the wave. No Van Horn. Glad you could join us. Sit back, relax. Let's watch some high school basketball. And the tip controlled by Northmont's Ryan Foy. A nice defense by Marcus Wood. Quick hands. Yeah, Wave will come out man to man. That's kind of a Kyle Joseph trademark. Nice Ball move inside. by Foy. Rebound, battle four, yeah. up and in. Does yeah. not good. Walker got it. Well, awesome they have three Walker. offensive rebounds there, Ty. Right, they did. Well, they hung with it, and Walker. Bears the benefit of that. And let's see what the Wave do now as Northmont comes out, plays straight man-to-man. -man. Oh, Walker. This is Kyle out. Mills. That's his shot. Boom. There. And one. How about that? All righty. Kyle Mills, the points he scored last year, he had 51 points last year. I'd say the majority of them came over on that yeah. right wing <laughs> and down that right corner. That foul's on number 10. That is Jamal Linson, his first, team's first, obviously. Hey, this would be some way to start your senior year with a four-point play, wouldn't it? Let's see oh, if Kyle yeah. can convert. Bingo. How about that? There you go, Kyle. Four to a stage crew uh, out tonight. I'm not sure what the theme is. White out, maybe. Is <laughs> <laughs> year after year, the stage crew comes up with some new and innovative uh, techniques up there, don't they? Now, this is Wood with a little pressure on Wallace in the backcourt. And Northmont sets up now in their half court set. Oh, it's off. Northmont, nice job defensively by Wood. All right. Putting pressure on the young man, so Coomer takes it out, gets it to Marcus, he brings it up. On a hurry. You know, I thought for a freshman last year, Marcus did a pretty nice well, job Coomer as Coomer hit. takes a oh. long three. Battle four, nice rebound, yeah. no Walker. Yeah. Went right up over the top of Wallace. Had about a six inch heights advantage there. Back, Back door cut, nice. Yeah. Traveled. Oh, they traveled, yep. Good defense that time underneath by Northmont as Wave had a nice backdoor cut. Good pass by Will Coomer. And Marcus was stopped in the paint. I was getting ready to say, Marcus did a nice job. The limited playing time he had on the varsity last year as a freshman. Just inexperienced. He can handle the boys. He definitely got the quickness. It, just a qu it was just a quicker game. You go from eighth grade to yeah, varsity. varsity basketball, that's a big jump. Yeah, and they had... Devin Hendricks and his older brother Trey went ahead of him. Nice pull up jumper that time. Tied at four. We've played a little over a minute now. Oh, not quite a minute and a half. That's Donovan Wallace with his first two. Oh, Tipped away. Oh. Quick hand. Uh oh. See if Minnick can stop him and we're going to call a foul. foul. How did Ethan Minnick get in there? Who I missed that. That's Ethan's first foul. Who did he, he? He came in and took Van Horn's place right away. Yeah. That's why he played a minute and 20 seconds. Huh. Well, Grant Minnick, a 5'7 junior, picks up his first foul. And at the line to shoot a pair is going to be Ryan Foy in a 4-4 ball game. Foy, a 6'4 senior. You mentioned some of these fellas didn't play. A couple of these yeah. guys didn't play last yeah. year. Walker and uh, Foy, neither one played last year. Has an all-senior lineup right now for Northmont. Checking in also for the Wave. Grant Minnick, we have Ethan Saylor, both. Saylor, so we got two five seven junior guards out there. Huh. Well, I wouldn't think we're out of shape after a minute and a half, would you, <laughs> in the first game of the year? Huh. Well, I'm sure there's a reason there. Five four, your score, Northmont by our one as Foy tries to hit the second. Comes up short. Rebound, battle for it. Comes out of there by Saylor. Yeah. And out of bounds. Off Northmont, so we'll get the ball. I'm trying to remember. I know Grant Minnick 
maybe got just a little time in a varsity game last year. Right, kind of mop up. Yeah, area. mop up duty for Ethan Saylor. This will be his first varsity action ever. This is, so we got many guards out there. Two, five, seven back guards. Back back. Yeah. Oh. Crown Mills try to pass the Coomer, but off North Vermont's foot, and the wave will take it out of bounds under the basket. Again, 6-14 remaining here in the first period. 5 4 Kyle Mills says, I'll hit another one. Boom, I like that shot. Well, that's Kyle Mills 7 and North Vermont 5. Oh, no. That and Foy gets loose. Good I'll transition by North Vermont. Yeah, beat us down court, didn't they? Yeah, there's a steal off of Minnick. Layups up and in, and that's Donovan Wallace with his second bucket. That's the one thing I noticed last year at JV level. Grant Minnick had a tendency to want to dribble a little too much. Yeah, get a little too And it got him, got him in trouble. Noah Walker back in there, the junior. Right there's your shot, buddy, right there. And out of bounds, a turnover against Man, the Lakers. And he had a shot right there at the elbow. Well, time we played not quite two and a half minutes. That's four turnovers against the green and white so far. So you can kind of expect a little bit in the early going here. First game, a lot of these kids, you know, varsity level experience. Tyler Barkey checks in for the wave, and uh, I think it's, uh, oh, Kyle Mills will take a breather. Mm -hmm. I think Tyler Barkey played pretty well last year on the JV level. Now, he's a good athlete. Mm -hmm. Good athlete, and hustles. Nice drive. Well, Donovan Wallace all of a sudden has six points. Northmont with their largest lead of the night at 11-7. A little too quick for our guard out front there. Mm. Pick it up, pick it up. Off of Greenville. Yep. Woo, five turnovers, Ty, here in less than three minutes. Well, see Noah Walker checks back in. Boy. And Coomer sits down. Boy, we're rotating a minute out, aren't we? You need to play hard for a minute, and I mean, as hard as you can go, and then you get a break. Yeah, but sometimes stuff get in the rhythm, get in the flow of the ball game. Yeah, that's important too, for sure. This is Wallace. Boy, he gets, Woods kind of hooked him from behind. This is a young man, Perkins. Oh, here's a shot by Walker. Missed it, rebound. rebound. Number 24 is checked in for him. Try it again, it won't go. Gets an oh, easy gone. shot. Good uh, hustle that time. We didn't do a good job of boxing off the board that time. Easy layup in there for uh, Danny Lewis off the bench. Take and it's 13 7. I see no shoot the ball. He did real well last year. Mm -hmm. JV level shot the ball well. Good athlete. Ty, right now I'm looking out there. I'm trying to think where our scoring is going to come from with the five on the court right now. Well, you'd like to see. I'd like to see. Quite frank, I mentioned Noah Walker shot the ball quite a bit. He had a couple of opportunities there, but he's passing the ball. Give him more confidence, pull to make that shot. Here's some more changes for the wave. We got to have a program to uh, keep track, I think. Okay, well, Will Coomer's checking in, and we're going to have Van Horn, Wood, Bikey, Minnick. Coomer, and Minnick. 4.33 left here, first period. Northmont has that 13 to seven lead. And I'm not sure what is uh, the hold up here. Somebody didn't report in at the scores table or what's going on here? They're gonna bring one of the officials over and talk it over. Well, it's first, first game of the season for the scoring table too, right? <laughs> but they're veterans there. They're like, yeah. they're seniors, all right. Yeah, oh, there's, there's a turnover, turnover. on it. That's going to be an easy layup, but. No, foul's going to be called on there. Wood. Foul ahead of time. But that was caused by the uh, poor inbounds pass there. Six turnovers for the wave. We can't keep that up. That's six shots you're missing already. All right, hit half every of turn right turn back in the game. Every turnover is one less opportunity to take a shot. This is Walker in trouble. Oh, I didn't even trouble. Yeah, yeah, over and back. back. That's a North Good Mont job. turnover. All right. Good pressure down the corner that time. Well, Greenville calls timeout. 30-second oh. timeout here, Ty, and uh, 424 to go. You know, Ty, I was looking at the schedule of uh, other county teams tonight. Arcanum and, uh, starts, I believe. Yeah. They got Coldwater. That's kind of a big game. Yeah, Coldwater comes down to Arcanum. Uh, Tri-Village playing Legacy Christian, and they're playing that at Cedarville University. 
And then the only other game, well, those are the only two other games involving county teams, at least according to the schedule and the date and paper. And then uh, tomorrow night's opponent, Fort Recovery's Indians, are hosting uh, St. Mary's Rough Riders tonight. So I'm kind of surprised those other schools aren't playing on the Friday Yeah, I'm surprised night. like the, yeah, any other CC, like Franklin Monroe and. Yeah. We have Versailles, Ansonia, yeah. Miss Cinema. I don't know if that's just, uh, you know, they didn't get, get that schedule with the date and paper or not. They didn't get the invite. Yeah. Well, after a 30 second timeout, Kyle Joseph's talked things over with his charges and time back in. 4.20 to go here in the first quarter and the wave trail by six. Bikey, you know he'll take it to the bucket. Yep, nice, her, nice shot. That That's one nice. thing, Tyler Bikey, he's not the world's greatest outside shooter, but he does go to the basket. 13 9 now. Northmont going against that wave man to man. Good defense for the wave. Shot off, nice box out by Bikey. Going to be a push off on Northmont. Number 10. Yeah, a good box out by Bikey. That foul is going to be on number one, I believe. Over his back. Is this one or 10? Oh, number 10, I guess. Yeah, it's on 10. It's his second. Yeah, so Jamal Linson picks up two quick fouls here in the early going. That's uh, Northmont's third team foul, wave with only two. And Coomer inbounds, a little man-to-man -man pressure here. Take it all the way. Nice, nice pass. pass. Pretty Pretty. play. There we go. Nice pass, Minnick to Van Horn and Noah finishes it off. Oh, way right back in at 13-11. Nice, that was a nice play. Mm -hmm. Set up by a nice drive by Grant Minnick. Cameron Rucker and a blocking foul called on. Is that going to be on Minnick or Bikey? Going to be on Minnick. That'd be uh, Grant's first, team's third. No, that's his second foul. My gosh, I'm missing Mark the wrong one. I give to Ethan Saylor, I think. I did. Sorry. I'll Ethan. tell you what, Saylor and Minnick look quite a bit yeah, alike. They do. The same size, same hair color, <laughs> same, same haircut. Yeah, thank you for pulling me out of that one. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. <laughs> yeah, that's early in the season for us, too. 13-11, <laughs> 25 to go. Northmont clings to that two-point lead. We've scored four straight here after falling behind six in the early going. This is Foy inside. He's a good ball player. Did everything we know. Good follow. That's uh, Jabbar Perkins, his first two points. Scott. Perkins, a real good football player, and then he averaged seven a game last year, and there's a travel called against Minnick. Seven turnovers, Ty. Ouch. Well, Waves 15-11 hanging in there despite those turnovers. Mm, that's this four is a nice ball player. A yeah, I'm surprised kid. he didn't play last year. I mean, I know they were senior dominated last year, but wow. They are this year, it appears. Yeah. He's just too quick, number two. You're gonna call a charge? No, gonna call a block? Yeah. Yeah, Donovan Wallace has some quicks, doesn't he? That foul's on Noah Walker. That's Noah's first. And Donovan Wallace, who has six points already, gonna go to the line to shoot a pair. Yeah, he's really quick. Five foot eight senior. First shots up, rings home. Seven points to the young man. You know, talking about foul shots, I see Greenville's girls lost to Northmont girls the other night. And in Greenville's girls first game, we were five of 18 from the foul line. Right. Last night we were nine for 22. So we're 14 for 40. So the girls are gonna have to start knocking down some foul shots. And if they weren't they're that gonna... good against Bradford either. It wouldn't no. Or a foul no. Shot. Yeah, that's an easy shot. I say that's one you can practice on your own. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're going to have to pick up the pace from the foul line here. Marcus Wood back in. Wave down by five. Second shot's up. Got yeah, it. Tell you what, eight he's got, he's got eight points, doesn't he? This is Kyle Mills with the ball. Kyle had the first seven for the wave. Let's see if he can get rolling again here. Take it. No, but. Wood yeah. dribbles into trouble. Ball loose. He's Travel. on the line. Yep. How about eighth turnover? 
I actually know Walker getting the offense. I mean, he passes the ball, but. You know, he's a really, he has a nice outside shot. He does. He just needs to learn to take it to the bucket and get open a little bit more, too. If not, they'll just play him tight outside, and he won't he, get too many good looks. During the reserve game, his first year of reserve, as freshman, he was played say, tentative. In his second year, he was outstanding. He was not aggressive. It's going to be over the back on Foy. I think so. He knows what to do with it. He took the ball to the basket there, didn't he? Gives no, they call that three. on number three. Cameron Rucker. Huh. Okay. Seventeen eleven. Your score down to two twenty to go here in the opening period of play in the 2017-18 season. Bill Van Horn in trouble. Step out, that a boy. Good job. Paul Mill says, "I want that corner again." Get it. Here's a long one. How about oh. that? Noah Walker Big lights shot. it up from three. That's what I say. He's a three-point shooter in good hands. Marcus Wood with a steal, 17-14. Hey, let's hit one more here. Uh-oh, three on one. Parker tries to throw good it away. Good hustle, Minnick. Minnick stepped on the line. A good, good hustle. hustle. Get back. Good hustle. Woods That's and Minnick busted the gut back there. And, uh, nice defense. There's a little back and forth action in a hurry, wasn't it? Here comes the... Twin, yeah, no. from behind they look the same, don't they? <laughs> Built the same, same height, and yeah, same. Noah Walker, he, he's got like I said, a nice outside shot. He's almost got to be set to shoot it, though. Yeah, it's it, not really a jump shot, it's almost a set shot, isn't it? But he's Whoop. strong enough to go to the yeah. hoop. He'd go there. Uh -oh, lob pass in Walker, missed it. Foy, Foy follows. Good fall by Foy, he has five. 1914. Got to do a little better job. We're a little sloppy and boxed off. Walker said, I'll take a 30 footer and hit it. Well, that was way out there. How about Noah Walker? 1917. Well, I guess the question is trying to be answered where's our scoring coming from this year? Well, right now, Mills and Walker both got two three point shots. Boy, nice move. To Boy, do. we're just getting butchered on the offensive board right there, aren't we? Yeah, we got a. Walker says, I want to try that one more time. He says, I know I can get it in there. Jump ball, possession arrow, favors the wave. That's one. Yeah, by golly, it is. Good hustle defense by the wave that time. Well, we're only down two with a minute 14 to go. Maybe uh, take the lead here late in the first quarter. Waves, they're scrapping in there. Mikey checks in and Tom is. Takes a seat again. So we had nine guys in. Yeah, we've had nine players in the game so far, haven't we? Oh. Finally got it. Yeah, finally got it across there. There Here's you go. Walker, had a boy. That's the way. And he comes alive. Eight points for the young man. Again, Get we're, back. Just, we're getting beat down court. That. How many transitions have we got beat down court so far? Well, I know they've got at least four, maybe five baskets off of that. It's 21-19. Yeah, we got to get back on defense a lot quicker than we are. Wood kicks out. Let's see if Saylor can hit. Nope. Rebound. No. Nope. That's going to be a Horn foul on Dan Horn. No. Going to call that on Northline. Well, we'll take that. 23. That's on Foy that time. That's his first. Five for the team. I thought they were going to call that on uh, Noah for a minute there. 21-19, Greenville ball in front of the stage crew. A tick under 40 seconds left here. First quarter, oh, boy, man, threw that it was, away. Uh, that, was threw a that? Yeah. that was Minnick on the... Uh, Inbounds pass? Yeah, a long pass. We can't let him penetrate. Called travel? No. Push, Push on uh, Bikey, I believe. No, it's going to be on Sailor. Yes. Well, he does. I'm not catch up with my scoreboard. Yeah, I'm here. off one on uh, fouls here someplace, too. Lewis is I got is five. Away. I'm okay. Yeah, I got it. Okay. Each team with five fouls now. Of course, again, high school basketball, seventh team foul. You shoot the bonus, 10. It's a double bonus. Each half. Inbounds. Boy, boy, that's going to be too easy. Yeah. That young man's got nine points all from inside. 23-19. Yeah, he's feasting on the wave and the paint, isn't he? 
Hockey drives the hole nicely. Blocked by tip by Northmont. Good defense. And uh, I want to get back. I'll be a son of a gun. Again, Reverse it didn't you. get it that time. Pass is a little late getting there. Shot from half court, no good. That wraps up eight minutes of high school varsity action here with the score of Northmont 23 and Greenville 19. Time out here on the Wave Channel 5. Well, welcome back, everybody. So we're getting the second uh, quarter of play. Your score, if you just joined us, Northmont 23, Greenville 19 in a fast-paced first quarter. And right now, uh, Northmont is up basically because of two reasons. One, in their transition, they probably got 10 points off just cherry picking, be beating the way back for the way to get back on defense. And secondly, second, third shots yeah. on the offensive board. Yeah, and also we've had 10 turnovers in the first quarter, and that's, uh, that's way too many at a varsity level. How about over the back, back on yeah. Walker? Yeah. Dawson Walker will pick up his first foul, 6'6 senior. And has 16 fouls against Northmont, and so Greenville had the ball to the far end of the court here. Trailing by four. Yeah, we've got to do a better job of boxing off, and we've got to just handle the ball a little bit better, too. But you know, and then the third thing, time. third thing, like you said, is the transition defense. Right there. Ethan Saylor going to take it inside the bike. Not too many passes. Then the shoot goes yeah, short. That, that shot wasn't there. It's going to be a foul on Saylor or a foul on Coomer. Who's it going to be on? Uh, on Ethan, Saylor. I think. That's his second. And, of course, the wave six foul now. There's going to be a lot of foul shots here the rest of the way, aren't there? Yeah. 23 yeah. 19. Played a half a minute here. Alex Warner along with Ty House. Glad you could join us here on the Wave. Channel 5 High School Basketball. We're trying to post up inside. They're taking a lot of shots from the oh, corner. Great shot. That time it goes down for Cameron, number three. Cameron, Cameron Rucker picks up his first points tonight. That's Northmont's first three. At least that's all I've got them for. Yep. Wave with Mills and uh, Walker, both two three point shots each. That was a reaching foul, got away from him. Let's see if Bikey can hit one. No. A little short. Oh, no, that's a board, foul on no, Walker. Uh, well, that's seven fouls, and we'll walk to the other end of the court. And with 6.54 to go here in the first half, Northmont's going to be in a bonus situation. That's Noah's uh, second foul. Well, that's some more changes. Mills, Van Horn, and Wood check in for the way, taking a breather as the Twins, Sailor, and Minnick, and Noah Walker. First of 22 regular season games for these ball clubs, just like every other high school team in Ohio. 22 regular season games, and uh, this is a crossover game in the Greater Western Ohio Conference. Won't count in the standings, right? But it's that crossover situation where uh, you play a lot of different opponents uh, within and without your division in GWAC. Donovan Walker, 11 points for that young man already. Holy cow, Batman! Oh, nine points. The uh, bolts are perfect four, four from the charity stripe here tonight. Uh, Foy missed one earlier, I think. Did he miss one? Yeah. I did miss that one. Yep. Yeah, but points. Wallace has double figures. Uh, quickly, other end, Bikey gets fouled. Followed up by Walker, right? Dawson Walker with the foul. That'll be his second. We've got the six-six kid with uh, two fouls, yep. so he's probably going to have to sit down here. This is the largest lead of the night for Northmont. Stretches out to nine points at 28-19. And Tyler Bikey gonna shoot. Get in there. Gonna shoot a pair. Nice rebound by Will Coomer. Too bad I didn't realize you're shooting a pair, but. Yeah, look good getting that rebound when the other gate guys were just standing there rooted to the floor. <laughs> <laughs> Soared way above everybody else out there. Oh, Tyler, Tyler hit Get this in one. there. Oh, that one goes strong. Now got a rebound yeah. and got to pick this pocket. Mm -hmm. Coomer had a nice rebound there, but Donovan picked his pocket. Rucker looking. Uh oh, they're taking it to the basket on us there. Didn't get it. Van Horn's rebound. Yeah. Oh boy, wow, yeah. they took a strong to the hoop, didn't they? Yep. Yeah, Marcus Wood going here. Nice. Well, out of control. Going to call a foul. I guess they are. 
Got a little out of control there going down right. the lane, didn't Flying he? Zambini. Fouls on number 10. If it is, it's his third foul. It is. Yeah. Uh, that's two Northmont starters are going to have to sit on the bench here. Walker with two, and now Linson picks up three. And You know, he really he picked up two fairly quickly and right. came back in. So he hadn't played a whole lot to get those three fouls. Come on, Marcus. And that won't go. By golly. Hmm. Wave just uh, one of four from the charity strike. Trailing by nine points here. Come on, Marcus, put it in here. That's there good. We go. There we go. Wave on the board here, finally, the second quarter. 628 mark. You score 28-20. Northmont on top. Wood comes out. Minute goes in. Yeah. Little full court man to man pressure here. Uh -oh. Minnick went for the steal. Wallace broke it. Wide open on the Rucker. wing. Missed, Missed that one. Boy, nice. That's how that Perkins per per kid jumped right up over the top of us, flipped it out of bounds. Cameron Mathis, another senior's in now for the Bolts. Ooh. Almost got away with the carry of the ball there. And another turnover. Holy cow, Batman. Yeah, nice ahead. Number 14, his first bucket, Cameron Mathis. 30-20. Double-digit lead here. Kyle Mills needs to get rolled again here. Let's no, see if Van Orton. Out Van Orton has it from about town. No, no. the point. Again, and again. Back on defense. And, oh, they call it a charge. Whoa. Good hustle by Noah Van Horn getting back on defense. Yeah. They've called that on number three. That's it. Cameron Rucker hits this up. Yeah, well, that's a big swing right there. Right. That could have been back to nine points. So. I'll tell you, that was good hustle by yeah. Noah Walker. He made the three, or uh, Noah Van Horn made the three point shot. Then he gets Josh down. Sack beat his own team down, darn near, it seemed like, and was able to take a charge. So that was good. Yep. Again, tomorrow night, uh, we'll be taping the uh, Fort Recovery boys as they come down here with former Wave head coach Mike Bayshore. We have a total of 16 games coming your way here on Channel 5 this year. I think nine for the Wave and seven for the Lady Wave, if I'm not mistaken. Ty and I'll be doing the majority of them. We'll have some help. Brian Stickle working with me tomorrow night. Randall Bowman will be involved. Right. Jody Flemersfeld. So. We got... Got it covered. Oh, got it covered. We got it covered here on GPAT the Wave Channel 5. Again, these games, if you don't pick them up, they'll be played four or five times at least on Channel 5. You can also then dial them in later on on YouTube. Just go to uh, GPAT Channel 5, WAVE, Greenville, Ohio. Everything on YouTube. Hit it. Kyle Mills says, can I hit three from there? Well, I'll hit the side of the bank board. Uh, rebound. <laughs> Walker. <laughs> yeah, There's going to be a foul. foul. On. Tut is picking up some fouls. That's going to be 10 fouls on Northmont now, and that'll be double bonus. The fouls on number two. That's Donovan Walker, his first. Now, way we'll get a double bonus. Yeah, well, let's see if we can convert here. Marcus with a point tonight from the charity strike. That's a lot of fouls on both teams here. First game of the season yeah. there. Got that one. Southpaw puts it in. She's two or three tonight. Marcus coming off a broken collarbone caused him to miss the last four or five games of the football season. Same one he broke last year, if I'm not mistaken. That's a little pressure on him. That's it, flicked it loose here. Oh, nice drive. Pretty. That was a pretty move inside. Jabari Perkins now has four and it's 32-24. In trouble, throws it over here. Boy, we had somebody open there. Back through the ball to Noah Van Horn, top of the key. That's going to be another turnover. Oh, Miss Golly. And uh -huh. the Perkins out of control, followed up by number 14, Mathis. We're just not getting down court. Here's another turnover. Goodness, on pressure. Up and in, and that's 24. number 24 and that look. time. Well, there's what? Bang, 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 bang. Six straight points on. 
36-24, Ty, we've got 14 turnovers already. We're not gonna win many games that 14 turnovers. Get up, Emmerich in, yeah, won't Emmerich go. missed it, the rebound pulled down by Mathis. We're a little disjointed right now out there. Ethan Emmerich in for the way. Uh -oh. Lewis will take that shot, rolls around, won't go. Uh -oh, Again, another Foy. rebound by Foy. Foul. A foul on Mills. Mills or Emmerich? We'll see. Saw Kyle slap at it, but he might call it on Emmerich. We'll see. They call it on Kyle well, Mills. Mills. That's Kyle's first, I believe. Boy, he got hammered in there. He's holding his wrist. I don't know if yeah, he, got he got it bent backwards or what. He did. I mean, he, that's why I thought Kyle took a hack of the ball and got all wrist. Well, Ty, Ty, the three things you talked about there at the end of the quarter, transition defense, boxing out inside, and turnovers. Uh, yeah, that's uh, nothing's changed yet, has it? No, and that's why your score is 36-24 Northmont. So 14 turnovers are concerning. Ryan Foy at the line. He's one for two from there tonight. Has nine points. This is that yeah. one. Yes, Boy, he's had all his points here in the. Well, Will Coomer points. comes back in along with Sailor and Minnick. Yeah, we're just going to have to do a better job of taking care of the basketball here. Well, even if we're getting back on defense and yeah. boxing out a little bit, uh, that would cut it a little bit. Nope. Got a lean violation against Northmont. Foy missed it anyhow. So, yep. Don't count that so again, either. that does not count as a foul shot, right? Right. We're not counting it that way. We're not counting it that way. Wave down by 12, largest deficit of the night. Grant Minnick dribbles through double team, pulls up, short. Had a good shot. Park Perkins with the rebound. Goes one on four, takes an extra nice step, layup and, and oh. goes. Boy, that's a nice move. Yeah, beautiful move. Six points for the young man. And boy, the lead gets stretched out. Northmont just a little quicker right now in the way. The sad thing there, Ty, was that was a one-on-four move. Yeah. We had four. We finally got back on defense, and he <laughs> split it, gets it the basket, scores, and then uh, draws the foul. Hmm. Makes yeah. a foul shot. Wow, seven points then, man. And the lead goes to 15 points for Northmont. Another oh, turnover. Man. Has a man here, Another nice pass. pass. pass pretty pass. And he it? missed it. Oh, my. Will Coomer with a rebound. He just, he just made that great move to the basket, and then he's wide open, had too much time, and missed it. Way man. downtown. That's downtown's right, Walker That's with it. Beyond Gable range there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oh, nice pass. Missed connections. Had him open, and he wasn't expecting the pass, was he? Oh, we got to take that. See if Will can hit one. Here it is. Set up. Shot won't go. Rebound. Walker. Sailors in the game. Fifteen point deficit, and boy, that was a. Uh, well, misread. Will thought he was going to break the basket, and again, fast break basket. Rebound. Second shot. Walker up and in. Ty is starting to get away, and timeout called by Kyle yeah. Joseph. We had it back within about five six or six. 30-24, then it's been nothing but. Yeah, 11 bow run here for the Northmont Thunderbolts. So timeout in the court, timeout here on the Wave Channel 5. Well, I need that. Time okay. back in here, Northmont with a 17-point lead, and uh, Wave had to call timeout, try to settle things down, and Ty, we just threw it away again. Goodness gracious. 17 turnovers, unofficially 17. I know it's no less than 17. Yeah, I might have missed one or two in there, but that is just way too many. The varsity let the varsity that's level. That's a lot of shots that you're not getting. Here's ah, Marcus Wood. Boy, that's Marcus' uh, second foul. Two forty-five left and going to the line to shoot a uh, double bonus. Is number 11. This is uh, the Italian Rayford. Played a lot of reserve ball. Yeah, 5'5 five, five junior. It's Good the first quick one. move. He was pretty quick. 
Well, Ty, we, this was a pretty even ball game until about uh, two and a half minutes ago. Yeah, it was. Yeah, a little over five minutes to go, and we were within about five or six, and all of a sudden, boom. Second shot, got it. Got a nice looking little stroke here, doesn't it? Yes, he does. 43-24. Boy, we need to uh, stem the bleeding here. Kyle Mills misses. Oh, nice drive. Good rebound. Will Coomer, get it up in there. Oh, we'll, we'll go. go. Comes down, get back. Inside it goes. That seems almost like a double dribble there. Shots up, no good. Tip loose. And Rayford says, I'll take that. Misses the short one. The over foul the over the back. Going to go on Mathis, I think, over the back of Kyle Mills. I would think. Looked like him. Let's see who they do call on. Yeah, they do. Call on 14. 14. Mathis. That's Cameron's first. I got him down four. And Won't who's going to line? Bonus. Mills or Van Horn? Looks like Noah Van Horn's walking yeah. up there. No, Van Horn had him boxed out pretty good and came over the back. Six five senior puts it down. Six points, the young man. Two, three. And checking in for the wave will be Walker and Bikey. So we have uh, Minnick, Van Horn. Bikey, Wood, and then uh, Walker. Well, that stops a 13-0 run, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> one at 30-24? Yep. Let's see if Noah can get another one here. You know, we get some stops down here defensively, get a couple buckets, get back within 10, 12 yeah. points at halftime, but we can't go in 18 down and expect to win this thing. Wow, had him beat. Yeah, took his eye off the ball. Yeah. Well, Perkins could have taken that all the yeah. way. He had, uh, had the lane Grant, open there, didn't he? Grant beat by a little bit, and the lane was open. Two minutes to go here in the first half. 18-point Northmont lead. Another long by Walker. Follows the shot that time. Yeah, and then goes out of bounds off of Noah. Off of him. Well, he, he crashed the board that time and got his own rebound, but... He's, he's a good uh, step and a half outside the three-point arc that time. Yep. And it's just a, it's it's a, a set a, shot. Set shot. It's like a, like a uh, Rick Berry foul. Oh, for <laughs> Pete's sakes. Come on. <laughs> Thank goodness he missed that. Yeah, we needed some backside help there. We didn't get it. Well, not backside help, but we just needed some help inside. Just help inside, yeah. And two quick guards are really quick. Mm -hmm. Uh, another turnover. turnover. And split the defense. Up Pretty in shot. and a blocking oh. foul. That's going to be a longer. Well, this is a uh, quarter that uh, you don't want to think long, too long and hard about, but you also uh, maybe use this as a learning quarter. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's an investment. Well, that was, that was who was that? Walker. Corey Gay? Number 21, Corey Bay. He has two and going to Corey shoot a Gay pair. shoots. First one's up. Yeah. He scored. They count the basket. Yeah. They count the basket. Uh -huh. Out of bounds, another turnover. Todd, that's 19 of them. Minute 21 to go, 45-25, your score. And uh, Well, I'll tell you what. This has not the been turnovers a, have been probably worse than the uh, mm. transitions, as bad as that's been. We've been outscored 22 to 6 here this quarter. And some more substitutions again. Coomer comes back in along with uh, Sailor. Minnick and uh, Walker take a break. Uh oh. Another rebound, another travel. Oh, wow. Yeah. They're quick off their feet, and uh, like you said, we aren't doing a very good job of keeping them off the glass, are we? No. If they're quicker Look how than they do you, out front there. Yeah. Perfect. There we go. Get in there. Ah. Ah. That was going to go on Foy. Foy. That'll be his second. Second. Oh, no Van Horn will go to the line and shoot a pair.
Under a minute to go here. Halftime guest tonight will be uh, a familiar face around Dark County circles. As Van Horn knocks down the first one. Seven points for Noah. Yeah, he sat out quite a bit there, kind of off and on through that first quarter, but he's come alive here with five points here just in the second quarter. Fact is, uh, he has the only points other than two foul shots from uh, Marcus Woods. So. That's right. And coming in is uh, number 14 for the wave. That's uh, Jordan Dill, and Van Horn sits down with 57.6 seconds left here on the scoreboard. Well, 27.45 your score. Boy, they, they do that a lot, don't they? Take it down the middle and then kick out to the wing. That's a, yeah. And that's Fortunately, they haven't really hit that many from outside yet. They didn't have to. They get like second, Marcus third Woods. rebound. Yeah. Hit it, Tyler. Hello, Tyler. Yes. Oh, well, oh, that helps. Sure did. Got us back. Oh, we get beat down court and foul yeah, on Bikey. Got beat again down court. By golly, that's going to be a foul on uh, Tyler Bikey. It's his first. Wow, we got beat down court again. Well, that got us back within 15. Like I said, if we get within 10, 12 points at halftime, yeah, make a nice run. And mm -hmm. Well, Jabari Perkins goes to the line. He's got seven points. Come off the bench. Make that seven. Make it seven. <laughs> Everything but in went around the rim. And but I in. will say, I like his hair. <laughs> yeah, he's got good hair. He's got that, like, Michael Jackson kind of hair going there, doesn't he? <laughs> but there is some bad hair out there. There is me. some bad hair. <laughs> Back one, got him. Mm -hmm. 46-30. See if we can get another bucket here. Cut this down a little bit. Uh-oh. Not that way. Uh, another and one. another one down front. Boy, they are just, Ty, I don't know. We haven't been keeping track of how many fast break baskets they've got. Well, I, got a, I got to guess a ton of them. There's an air ball by Will Coomer. Nobody entered the basket and cranked up a 25-footer. 48-30, Northmont. With 13 seconds left, I think they'll go for the last shot. They might go for the last two, the way we've been playing. <laughs> Depends if we get the ball or not. Yeah. <laughs> we turn it over. Yeah, you know, well, he's shot. playing with a little too much Wallace. He says, I'll just take it out. Oh, nice pass. An even 50 points. And a score at the end of two quarters of GWAC action here is Northmont 50 and Greenville 30. We'll be back with halftime guests and scoring here on the Wave Channel 5. 50-30 to score here at halftime as Northmont has a 20-point lead over the Greenville Green Wave. Our halftime guest here, a familiar face around Dark County circles, both coaching basketball, superintendent down at Tri-Village, and now the superintendent of Northmont schools, Tony Thomas. Hi, Alex. Great to be here. Great to be out in Green Wave country and watching a great basketball game. Thanks for having me. Now, Tony, this is how many years down at Northmont now? This is my fifth year, second year as a superintendent there, and it's really been a nice fit. Uh, we've recently moved down in the area, and we just uh, really like the community, and, and uh, it's good to see the uh, Northmont Nation turn out here in Greenville tonight. Yeah, got a good crowd. Let's talk a little bit. Started out, of course, a Tri-Village graduate, then what, Bradford, then back to Tri-Village, as well as over in Columbus. Yeah, started in Columbus, taught uh, three years over there, was hired through the... Uh, Miami Valley Career Technology Center for a few years, taught at Tri-Village and, and also did some coaching along the way and then went back to the Miami Valley Career Technology Center and uh, it's, been a, it's been a really nice run. Nine years superintendent at, uh, at Tri-Village and that was an exciting time to go back to the place where you graduated and get a, have a chance to get back a little bit and so that was fun. Let's talk about the Northmont School District right now, one of the larger districts, uh, especially north of the Dayton area. Right, it's a, it's a, a, a great uh, community, got a lot of growth going on right now. Uh, we just went to Chicago this week to, to look at maybe refinancing some bonds, so hopefully we can save taxpayer money, uh, taxpayers some money there. Also have a lot of neat initiatives going on from a learning standpoint. We received a grant for project-based learning, really try to give our kids a challenge um, that's, a, that's a real world challenge and, and give them a chance to problem solve because we know that's really what the business world is asking for and so we've really been trying to, to uh, reach out to the businesses and kind of be a reflection, especially with Wright Pat right, right down the road from us. We do a lot of aeronautical engineering, we do some robotics, 
and, and trying to just build that human capital to make sure that uh, economically we're, uh, we're able to attract more jobs to the region. That was spoken like a true superintendent. <laughs> Thank you, Alex. <laughs> now, of course, your son now uh, played on the JV game here, and uh, Justice, of course, played through his eighth grade year at Tri-Village, and then you made the move back down to the Northmont area. Yeah, he really loves it. He had a, he had a nice little game there in the JV uh, outing, and obviously you can see there's a little little talent around, and so uh, it's been a little adjustment for him, but he's handling it well, and he, he's really fit in, has a lot of good friends, and so it's been a nice nice transition for him. And then your wife, Sean, still teaching at Tri-Village. She's still at Tri-Village, loves teaching those second graders, and I don't know if we'll ever drag her out of there. She's really good at what she does. And as long as she enjoys it, I told her just stay, keep doing what it is she's, uh, she's really talented at. And the twins are? The twins are now out of college. One's living in Indianapolis and uh, is, has a job working in a lab over there. Should start actually just this week. And uh, my, our daughter Shay is down at the University of Cincinnati Hospital working towards anesthesiology, but right now she's working in the ICU area. So. Very good. Well, it's been Terry Thomas. Terry Thomas. This has been Tony Thomas, superintendent down at Northmont Schools and longtime familiar face here in Dark County. Thanks for stopping thanks, by. I appreciate Alex. it. Taking up the tie now for halftime scoring. Hey, thanks, Alex. Thanks, Tony. Welcome back, Tony. Good to see you. Well, scoring for the visiting Thunderbolts, four points for Dawson Walker, 10 points for Jabbar Perkins as he came off the bench and scored 10 points. Donovan Wallace with 10 points. Three points, Cameron Rucker. Two points, Italian Rayford. Six points, Cameron Mathis. Two points, Corey Ray. Corey Gay, excuse me. Nine points for Ryan Foy. Four points for Danny Lewis. The Bolts are 9 of 13 from the charity stripe. Or the home standing wave. Two points from Marcus Wood. Five points, Tyler Bikey. Seven points, Kyle Mills. Those came in the first quarter. Eight points, Noah Walker. His all came in the first quarter as well. And then eight points for Noah Van Horn. And that gives 34 the wave. And the wave are six of 11 from the charity strike. So you score 50 to 30. T-Bolt's on top. We'll be back to second half action in a moment. Welcome back, everybody. Let's get ready to second half action. You score. Northmont 50, Greenville 30, and it was 30 to 24 at one time, and then bang. Boom. Yeah, we're going to, uh, it'll be interesting. The first, you, know, you can say this about every time, first three or four minutes of the second half, going to go a long way to determine how this game plays out. Now. The way you have to make a big run. Yeah. They should just focus on cutting the point, cutting down to 10 points at the end of the quarter, just keep picking at it. Yeah, but we can't afford to have 20 turnovers like we did in the first half. Yeah, that, that's ouchy wabba. Well, we have Wood, Coomer, Van Horn, Walker, and Mill, the original starting line. A nice, nice pass. Play. Yeah. Nice play. Set play, play and uh, Noah Van Horn now, double digits, 10 points. Foy up, gets an easy bat. I'll tell you what, how many bats have they got? Just a little drive the hoop and pass yeah. off to somebody. Yeah, our interior defense has left a lot to be desired tonight. Marcus Wood out there on the court. Uh, starting lineup for both teams, I think, Ty, if I'm yes, not mistaken. The only one with foul trouble, Jamal Linson, number 10. Way down is Walker not won't this go. Time. Hit his first two and missed his last, mm -hmm. what, three or four maybe. Linson with a nice rebound that time. Uh -oh. Got some good hops. Well, we, we just like kind of back away and let him have those shots in there, and there's going to be a foul over the back. I assume it's going to be over the back. Walker had inside position. Gonna be on Van Horn. Oh, I don't know. That's his first. Well, what happens? They can beat. They beat us out front, and uh, that time Mills got beat badly. Yeah. And then there's no help underneath once that happens. If they do, they're able to dish off. So, you know, if we're not quick enough to go man to man outside. Back off a little bit. I'm almost. Uh, you know, he might even want to just give him a little different look. This sort of zone. Well. Kyle well, Joseph, they, they play man to man. That, that's what we play, and well, that's okay. I mean, that's, that's good. If you, but but we got to have some help in there too. You got to be able to counter that if you're not quick enough, or their guards are quicker than yours. Makes both of them. That's six points for Dawson Walker. I'll tell you, for two kids that didn't play at all last year, Walker and nice drive. Oh, Foy, good defense. Yeah, the good defense, is right? Foy's got uh, what? 11, 11, Eleven points. points, and Walker's got. Six. Six, so that's 17 points for kids that didn't even play last year. We gotta get Will Coomer no, going he here. He hasn't scored yet tonight. Wood, nope. Right now, Walker. 
uh, Van Horn rather, out of bounds, yeah. Northmont. That was a good hustle that time by Northmont. It looked like Kyle Mills was going to have it. Ball Dang. flicked out of there. Northmont's quick. Yes. You know, Northmont, uh, they're, they're going to have a decent season. I don't think anything like 20 and 5 like last year. There's a nice Kyle shot. Kyle Mills got in there. That's the first points Kyle scored. He has nine since the first quarter. Of course, he's on the bench quite a bit. Yeah, all right. Still that 20 point lead. Long pass oh, lives man, right on drive. in. And gets fouled. That going to go on. No. Called a foul against Northmont. Oh, number Set 10. Set a pick underneath. No. It's on Foy. 23. Foy, that's his third. I'm not sure what it was. Set an illegal pick. Evidently, yeah, because it. Linson had a mm -hmm. nice clear move. shot to the basket there. Foy, uh, earlier in the uh, second quarter, Foy had hurt his wrist. I see he's got his thumb taped up there now, doesn't he? Kind of bent back. I think Kyle mm -hmm. Mills had fouled him, and there was a bump, got away with it. There's Kyle's shot. Not this time. Foy with the rebound. Lost the dribble, picks it back up. Well, somebody pick him up. Oh, man, beat us underneath the glass again, and again, and again. Oh, Who got Foy, that, Foy I think then? Foy got that. Oh, they gave it to Walker? Yeah, that's it, Kyle Mills the other way. Well, back and forth we go, they gave that to, uh, I think they gave it to Foy finally, yeah. Okay, yes they did. Back of the way. Well, Noah Van Horn took the basket and Linson. <laughs> Number 10, Jamal Linson he's can't like, believe what? it. He said, me again? That's four fouls. He's had a, he's had a tough night. <laughs> I was like, golly, man, what, am I, <laughs> what, am I, what am I doing? What can I do out here? Uh, <laughs> well, Wave have four players coming in here as Van Horn misses the front end of two. Noah has 10 points tonight. Mm -hmm. Hey, again, I'd like to thank uh, Tyler Fleming from IMTV for uh, being a cameraman producer on tonight's All right. ball game. The sidekick tonight is Kind Carter of a veteran, Cox. right, Tyler? Yeah, kind of a veteran of the wars now. Yeah. Did some good work for us last year as well as football this fall. Yeah, well, Noah missed misses both. both. And he oh, my down gosh, get again. down. Well, that good time Will Cooper, Cooper got down there. Yes, nice defense. Got a hand beat on us it. down there, but good hustle by Will. Stop that easy basket. Well, away with a host of subs here. Minikin along with Bikey and also uh, Jordan Dill. Coomer and uh, Walker round up the five on the court right now. Minnick bringing it up. Uh -oh. We're in trouble. Well, we got away with it that time. Yeah, we did. Mikey says, I'll shot. take that, not Won't this go. time. Follows his shot, gets the rebound. Minnick says, I'll take no, not even close. Oh, nice play by yeah, Walker. Good play by Walker. Yes, sir. That was a nice job by Noah. Bounced it off of uh, number three there, Cameron Rucker, out of bounds. Well, who's coming out? Oh, we're going small, I guess. Coomer comes out. Oh, my. Yeah, we are small now, aren't we? Well, Northmont really didn't have that much eyes out there right now either. No. Small ball. Small, small ball. ball. Yeah. NBA, they're starting to play more and more small ball. Of course, they're small ball. You know, the average height's about 6'8". Yeah, you got to. Minnick says, I'm not afraid to take that. How about got that? It. Grant picks up his first points tonight. Oh, again. Holy cow, Batman. How many how, easy How basket? are we doing that? Maybe. How can they beat us down court that quickly? Lost control of it and picks it's it back up. Set it up. Okay. Sailor sits over to mm -hmm. and another turnover. But you know, that's the first one we've had this. Uh oh. Perkins. Oh. No, nope, not that time. Thank God. Wide right open. Get the ball. There you go. Down to Bikey. He gets it in the corner and drives to the hoop. Nice move. Nicely oh. done. Nice move. Seven Pretty points, good. Tyler Bikey. Well, the wave back within 17, 58 41. Just a little ragged out there right now. Uh, that who was, was many guarding that time? There's Donovan Wallace. He kind of quit on him and looked, you know, like not my guy or whatever. I'm not sure who Grant was guarding. Hmm. 
60-41 Wallace now with double figures. Hit it, Ooh. Tyler. Got a boy. Ooh, Tyler Mikey's come alive, the sophomore. Now he has 10 points. You gotta give him a breather. Yeah. Oh, and nice it goes in and, and a blocking block. pass. Wow. Nice little move and a nice runner by Danny, Danny Lewis. Lewis. Wow, that was a pretty move. And that's going to be a foul on, uh, I think, Dill George first. There's some changes. and hmm. Walker, Dill, and Mikey take a break. And Halfway Van through Horn. the third, yeah, halfway through the third quarter and six, that was a nice little shot, a little runner along the baseline and got the foul. Oh. And won't go. Mm. Well, let's get another bucket here. Yeah, like you say, it'd be nice to get 10. back within like 10, 12 here. Should take it on in. And you had over. it, Marcus, yeah. you had it. Well, we got just uh, gets them out of the way here in this first game of the season, and hopefully improve over the course of the next month or so. Get out. Nope. Nope. That's a three. Sorry, Perkins. He's got 13 points, basically off the bench. Well, back up to 21 point lead. Wow. McCall Mills was fouled. That was almost another turnover, but. It's going to be a foul on number 14, Cameron Mathis. It's three team fouls for the Bolts. Greenville with two here. In case you just joined us, Greenville trailed by four at the end of one, 23-19. Then Northmont went on a 27-11 run in the second quarter and has pretty much maintained that 20-point advantage since then. Nice. Him. Oh, my golly. Inbounds pass had him there. Yep, he was open. And knocked out of bounds. Yeah, Will Coomer is almost too wide open. Did everything except get to catch the pass. <laughs> He's just got good hands usually. Yeah. Like I say, maybe too wide open that time. Mm -hmm. Look get Will on the board here. Will scored us tonight. Get it back in there. Yeah. Nice job. Four points. That's, for his, that's his first basket of the night. Yeah, he's got two foul shots in the yeah. second quarter, and that's it. He could have drove the hole and make a couple layups here and get some fouls. Mm -hmm. Boy, he set a screen way out high this time. Oh, I got the wrong man out there. Yeah. Blocked. Yeah. Nice defense. Wood got a hand on it. And has it flicked out of there. 2.53 left. 19-point uh, Northmont lead. Anyhow, uh, Greenville, in case you join us again, 20 turnovers in that first half. Both teams were shooting double bonus with about yeah. five minutes to go in the second quarter. A lot of foul shots. In fact, there's 24 foul shots between the two teams in the first half. Get out of there. Yeah, Grant, you got yourself in jail. And it's a bump foul on Grant. Yeah, that's his third. And yeah, Grant dribbled down here and got himself in jail, picked his dribble up right on the sideline. The guy's got behind mm -hmm. him and yeah, he's he had no get out of jail card for you on that one. And did not pass go. Nope, did not collect $200. That's it, buddy. Tyler over here looking at us. He doesn't know what we're talking about on that. Did not pass go, <laughs> did not collect $200. Little Monopoly. Game of Monopoly. There we go. Yeah, now we're there we there. go. I knew we'd wake him up over there. Oh, golly. We started to date ourselves here. Kind of <laughs> didn't know that. Second one's up. Got that one. So Mr. Lewis has eight points. And we throw it away. What do they call? It'll be I'm North sure. Ball. Yeah, we threw it away. Ty, here's another side of age. You ready for this? So we had 30 some people for Thanksgiving dinner, and about, uh, I don't know, halfway through the afternoon, somebody came out and said, I am officially old. He says, My college age daughter has never heard of Seinfeld. That's now, officially old. <laughs> that's officially old. <laughs> or she's totally uninformed. Or she's totally uninformed. <laughs> that's the way I prefer to look at it. Ah, me too. She just was uninformed. Oblivious to, oblivious to anything. Oh, uh, travel. Travel, okay. Steps, so, way we get the ball back. Wave down by 21. 
You know, we really haven't had the stage crew in it here. No, we haven't anything to cheer yeah, about that anything for to cheer about, minutes. and the crowd's kind of the same way. And again, we've had a nice-sized crowd, uh, you know, here for opening night here at the high school gymnasium. Yeah, Northmont traveled well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, nice little crowd here. Kyle Miller says, I'll take that in and get two. Yeah, wouldn't bounce, but... Yeah, but got a foul on it. Good line, shoot a pair. Call with 11 points tonight. 23, that's on Foy. Again, that's his fourth, I believe. No, they call, yeah. They call it? No, they call it on Wallet. No. 24. 24. Danny Lewis. Okay, let's put him in there, Kyle. 11 points and 12. <laughs> Got the friendly uh, dead stop drop in. Let's fall. Shot that time. Before he goes out, Mathis in. And Kyle Mills now with 12 points. All right. 13 and, for the young man. And coming out, and Noah Walker takes his place. Might mention our cheerleaders for tonight's contest. And next break, we'll do that. There's a turnover by Northmont. Take it right on away. in, Marcus. Oh. Nice pass, Walker. Got Gosh, it. play. Ten points for Noah Walker. A nice pass by Marcus Wood. Turnaround shot, no good. Tip up, no good. Again, out of bounds on Northmont. Should be a wave ball. It is. Yeah. Well, hey, 67-50. A little under two minutes. Let's get another bucket or two here, get some stops, and maybe get this down within that 10, 12 point range at the end of three. Whoa, man, that was a tie. That's a tough, tough pass. Didn't need that. No, did not need that. I mean, wow, that was a tough pass to make. Yeah, it's right along the baseline. Yeah, it's got to be perfect. Yeah, there wasn't much of an right angle there. to get that ball in bounds. Uh-oh. Nice move to the hole. Didn't go. Again, another rebound. And Walker by. up and in. He's got eight points, chance to make it nine. And uh, well, the three things you mentioned early going Keep just haven't going. changed. That foul's on uh, number five, Bikey, his second. Well, we have not changed. Bounce no good, rebound, Coomer. Get it out of there. And that's it. Another turnover. Get out. Oh, another rebound, another they, rebound. They really, uh, they scrap on the boards, don't they? They sure they do. They just have just out quicked us and uh, kind of out willed us inside, haven't they? Travel. Yeah. No, we'll call it a block. block. Block on biking. Wow, travel there first. Holy cow. I'll give that on Tyler. It's his third foul, but didn't see that one coming. I thought we didn't want to start the season out by giving up 70, 80 points here, but uh, it's going to be worse than that, yeah, isn't it? They had 50 at halftime on the first yeah. game of the season. That's yeah. pretty rough. North with the basketball. Perkins will take a three-pointer. Won't go again. So that Walker kick can jump, can Yes, he can. You've got to put a body on him, box yeah, him out, so he can't Sailor. get over you. Yeah, Sailor's third foul. Wow. That's going to be Greenville's seventh or sixth? Six. What you yeah. got to do on the ball guy? Put a body on him. You can't leave a gap and then. You know, if they're a little bit quir bigger than you and they jump real high, you got to put a body on them. That's the only way you're going to have a Make, chance. Yeah, someone reach, they can get you reaching over. Well, it's a timeout on the court, but we'll stay here. Introduce our uh, cheerleaders. Then under the uh, cheerleader coordinator, Tiffany Labig, and her crew is Emma Klosterman, Sydney Cruz, Ashley Jolly, Kenzie McMiller, Jessica Peters, Alexis Snyder, Bailey Bennett, and Hope Byron. That's our uh, young ladies out there. And might mention earlier tonight, the uh, Doug Foster, the coach for the Wave Reserve this year, lost their first game tonight. 
score of 58-26. Scoring for the uh, JV team, Alec Fletcher had seven points. Reed Haynes had six points. Ethan Flannery, seven points. Foster Cole, three points. And Austin Fisterell, three points. Well, 69-50, uh, Northmont. We've about scored in this quarter tie, 2019, but not quite enough when not, you trailed 20 at halftime. Not quite enough. Well, let's got to make a huge comeback here. Now well, we've got a minute 18 left here. Yep. Just, we need a couple stops and uh, pick a bucket or two up. Uh-oh. Look at him go after it, Walker. Wow, he just yeah, couldn't there. get him to drop, but he had three looks at it. Finally, we pulled it out of there. Let's get a bucket. Wow, almost a travel there. Got... Walker says, I'll take one from outside and oh. banks it. Banks it in. We'll take that. Walker has three three-point shots. And look at this. Nobody down court. Missed it, thankfully. Got it back. Missed again. Going to be a foul call. Well, we got it back within 16 on that three, and then all of a sudden, boom, nobody back. Perkins going to shoot a pair. You can call the foul on Van Horn, evidently. He knows he's reacting. Yep. It's his second. Well, doggone it, they beat us back down again like that. It, mm -hmm. All right. Yeah, up short. Hey, we might be able to sneak back in here, Todd. 49 seconds left. Get down here, get another bucket. Yep. I'm not real sure that uh, Noah Walker wanted to bank that in, but maybe it looks I'll, like a we'll take it. This it point. looks like a swish in the paper tomorrow, won't it? <laughs> yes, right. Perkins hits that one. Here we come down the sideline. Two on one, take it all the way in. Take it up, Noah. Atta boy, oh, and one. Yeah. Nice pass from Walker to Van yes, Horn. Was. Noah to Noah. Foul number 14, they called that on Mathis. That's his third, team's fifth. Noah, three of six in the charity stripe tonight. Let's make a four of seven right here, buddy. Mm, get it back within 14. Yes. Oh, yeah. I thought he had that. Good hustle, Walker that time, tracked it down. That, 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 uh, that, 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 nothing there. One on one, Perkins, one on two, pulls up, missed it. Nice Good rebound, rebound. make it back, Will. And a foul called on Perkins. Yep. It's well, this game foul. hasn't been what you call an artistic beauty for either team. No. Been a lot of hustle up and down the court. First game of the season. First game of the season. Debug a lot of things. And yeah, they played hard, both teams. Mm -hmm. Well, bucket here, Ty, gets us back within that 12 13 point range you talked about. Get it in there. Ah. Oh. Well, we're going to get him at the line then. Tell you right now, Northmont's a lot better ball club with that Foy kid out on the court. Oh, for sure. When he's in there, they open it back up. When he's not, we close it back down. Called that on number 14 again. Mathis and at the line to shoot two. Marcus Wood. He's two for four tonight. Three for five. And also, uh, they had on the bench that time was uh, Donovan Wallace. You got Wallace and, and uh, Foy back in there and makes mm. a big difference. Yeah, for them, yes. Well, one more, get it back, here we go. 26, 26 point quarter so far, Ty. That's the way. 27 points for the Wave here in the third quarter. Back within 13 after trailing as much as 21 points. Wallace guarded by Wood. Boy, he can get to the bucket, can he? Nice defense, Will Coomer. Perkins at the buzzer. No. All right. All wave right. back within 13, so we've wrapped up three quarters of action here in G-Walk play with the score of Northmont 70 and Greenville 57, and we'll be back in just a moment. 
Welcome back, everybody. As we get ready for the fourth quarter of play, 70 to 57. Well, the Wave cut that halftime lead of 20 points down to 13. Alex had a nice little go there that quarter. Let's see if we can uh, get it down in the single digits here fairly early this quarter and put some pressure on Northmont. One right. thing, Ty, we cut our turnovers down. We only had six that quarter. Yeah, it's huge, isn't it? Yeah, it gives you extra shots. We go right inside the foy. And yeah, tipped away by Will Coomer. Yeah, I thought he was fouled from behind Foy did, but wave come out of there, so a chance to cut it to 10, maybe, or 11, maybe 10. Right there. Oh, man, mm. take it on in. Flicked out off the hands of Northmont. I was trying to pass it to uh, mm -hmm. Noah Van Horn, but man, I take it right on in. He's got a good drive there. No mm. one was in front of him. We've had three players in triple figures here tonight. Van Horn with 12 and 13 apiece for uh, Walker and Mills. What'd they call there? Double dribble, I think. Double dribble? Turnover. Well, I think he's going to pass it to uh, Marcus, and Marcus fell down and he had to. Uh, Stop the stop the pass. Okie doke. Well, 7:30 remaining. A scope wave. Man to man still for that Greenville Green wave. It's been a while since we really made uh, Northmont work at half court oh, look offense. At that. Uh -oh. Nice quick move. And the blocking foul. You know the Walker kid. He's probably had at least eight or ten shots that just don't drop inside, and thank goodness they haven't. <laughs> <laughs> if I know Van Horn, I let, I let that Walker kid, we have the three-point range. He's just too quick. Yeah. Back off, no sense guarding 30 foot out. And he got beat Noah to the basket, and then Marcus Wood pick up the foul to stop it. Austin Walker. Eight points for the young man tonight, though. No. If they get to the line, let's hope they continue to miss. Wave with eight fouls. Northmont with seven. Mm. Missed that one, too. Missed that one. Humor with the rebound. Gee, many Christmas. How about another bank, bank shot? shot. You got to call those, <laughs> Noah. <laughs> hey, the wave within 10. He was 25 feet away that time and banked it at an angle. How about a turnover here? Kick the ball against Northmont. Should be Greenville ball. Oh, no, no, no. They called it Northmont ball. I thought Northmont kicked it. No, they did. Screenville yeah, ball. Okay, okay, hey, yeah. only down 10, Ty. How about this? So plenty of time. Pick, I'll pick, pick. You. Wave have hung in there. And, uh, boy, whether or not uh, Noah Walker wanted those to be bank shots or not, hey. there's two of them went in. That's six points. There's oh, a, no. Why do we do that? Threw it That's away. That's the third time we've yeah. made a pass at an angle like that, and not one of them's worked. Stop it already. Pick for somebody and get open. Grant Minnick draws his fourth foul. My golly. Do the same thing over and over again after a while. That's, that's not or, a mistake. That's a, that's five fouls on Minnick. So Grant Minnick, the 5'7 wow. junior, fouls out with three points. 6.56 left on the clock. And Donovan Wallace to shoot uh, one and one. Or no, they shoot in a pair, I guess. Yeah, well, he wasn't shooting, was he? No, that should be one and one. Not double bonus yet. No, yeah. yeah, it must have been. Boy, yeah. thank goodness they can't hit foul shots. Oh, no kidding. That's getting us back in the game. He was perfect. He was 4-4. Four four. The team yeah. was 14-21. They've only hit five of their last 11. They've missed uh, four in a row. Yeah, got it. Did that one. 71-60. Quickly down court, Bikey. He'll force his way in, force a yeah, shot. Right, yeah, Wasn't there that time. Nope. Here's Jamal Linson. Let's see how long he stays on the court this time. Is a foul called on that Kyle Mills. Chancy. Yeah, that was one of the cheaper foul calls tonight. Yeah. Guy finally unstuck his pee there and had to use his whistle. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Test it out, see if it worked. Yep, by golly, it did. Well, let's hopefully continue to keep missing here. It should be double bonus. And it is. This is Linson at the line. Foy tried to get it. Goes out of bounds. He gets two shots at it. Yeah. Double bonus. Rucker misses that. He's is got that three Rucker? Points. Yeah. Number three. Okay. Okay. 
Going to shoot the second one here then. Yeah, I'll one. tell you what, let's just keep putting oh, them on the man. foul line. They're going to call that on w w Dawson Walker and Northmont? Yeah. Hooked him going for the rebound. Well, that's uh, that going to shoot one and one down at the other end. Called that on Foy. It's his fourth. Well, they called it on Foy, huh? Okay. His fourth foul. Thank goodness. This game taking a little while to play. We've had a lot of foul shots. 39 foul shots between the two teams uh, going into this quarter, and now it's... Uh, get it to nine points right here. Yeah. Come 40, on, 45 foul shots. That's a lot of time on the 16 clock. 16 points for Noah Walker. Ah, rats. I almost thought he was going to bank that in. Boy, I bet cut it to nine right there. Oh, that's a charge. You bet. Way to stand in there, Tyler Bikey. Yeah, I yeah, went in with no doubt about her there. Yeah. Dawson Walker with his third. Player control, so there's no foul shot. Boy, wow, that pass what, again. Wow, impounds pass like that. He must practice that because they've done it all night. Let's see if Kyle can hit a three here. No. Nice rebound, Will. Oh. Backside. Well, position. Came right over, and Will Coomer is going to go to the line and shoot double bonus. Well, Will Coomer hasn't scored yet tonight. Let's see if he can. I was uh, on number two, Donovan Wallace. See if Will Coomer can get in the scorebook here tonight at the start of his senior year. Yeah, Will Avery's over two points of contest last year coming off the bench. All right. How about a bank shot? We, we'll take it. The banks are open tonight. Yeah. All right, all right. We practice tonight, that. Tonight's foul shot brought to we you by Second National shot. Bank, the friendly folks up on Broadway. Well, it's Second National Bank court, so I guess that's... Anybody <laughs> can make a swish. You can bank it in there. Yeah, there we go. Oh, couldn't do it that time. It'll be a jump ball. Possession arrow favors the wave, so yeah, 10 points. Well, got it to 10. Let's get it, make it. Got quiet on the Northmont side here all of a sudden. We've seen their 21-point lead evaporate. There it is. Get in, Kyle. Yeah. Oh, boy, that was easy. 15 points. Just cut down the middle. Get We're back, back with within eight. Get back. All right. Well, Make them work a little bit. And here's right. a turnover. It'll be wave ball to yep. under the basket. All right. Well, how about this? Yeah. Down 21. Now back within eight. And Northmont calls timeout. Wow. 6-16 to go. And the wave have fought back within eight points. 71-63. And we'll pause here on the wave. Channel 5. Wow. Well, here we go. 6-16 remaining. The wave of battle back from a 21-point deficit to cut the Northmont lead to just eight. 71-63, and the wave had the ball to bounds. Boy, so, another bucket here to really put the pressure on Northmont, wasn't it? Make them little, make them sweat. Mm -hmm. Hit a well. Oh, a little long. Oh, look at that. Kyle Mills with the rebound. No, and Dawson Walker. Oh, uh -oh. no. The guy was. I bet he misses thing. it. Nope. Well, Jamal Linson says, finally, I got in there long enough without foul trouble to yeah, get was, his first two points. Nice was, look down court by Dawson Walker. Oh, yeah, he would broke down the court a long time ago. He's cherry-picking yeah. on that one. See if Kyle could hit three here. Nope. Good rebound backside. How about right, Tyler, Tyler Bikey? Way to stay with it, Tyler. He's four. having a real nice game for his, as a sophomore, isn't he? First yes, game he as a sophomore. Uh oh. Good athlete. Nice pass inside. Couldn't handle it. Here come the wave. Chance to cut this back down. Mills? How about yeah. that? Hey, we're back within six. Oh, Good hustle. Good. Good hustle, Marcus Wood. Well, Ty outscored him 37 to 23 here in this quarter, and uh, we're alive. Hey, boys, we've got the fans on their feet, and rightfully so. Now. Getting a little tight there on the Northmont side. Wave and made this a ball game. Much to Northmont's chagrin. Well, that's not his shot, but he hit. Got it anyway. Big shot there for Dawson Walker. Oh, wide open. Oh, had it, missed it. Ah, oh, gee. And there in. You go. Oh, 
Call a foul on Will. Travel. Travel. Oh, that's too bad. Boy, no, walk your head that, buddy. Yeah, he, he just yeah. cut with his elbows. And... That's too bad. Yep. That was an easy basket there. Well, five minutes to go. Way within striking distance. Eight point contest. This is Woods out front on walls. That's a good matchup of two quick players there. Yeah. Perkins says, I'm not afraid to shoot. Oh, and Wallace yeah. from nowhere gets it, has it blocked. All right. All right. And then it's back on the court, picked out of there. Get a bucket here. Yep. Hmm. 438 left. In regulation, eight point lead. I say in regulation. In regulation, exactly right. You never know what can happen. This is the match we want right there. Yeah. Everybody clear out. <laughs> yeah, Mark's a little guy. too quick for him. Now they switch back. Ben Walker hit another bank shot from three. Uh oh. Boy, good thing we Boy, knocked what? that out of there because they had a man open down court. Wallace says, I'll just go in tall timber and draw fouls. It's going to be on Van Horn or on Marcus Wood. One or the other, you're right. I'll call Marcus that on Wood. Marcus. That's his fourth. Al Chihuahua, Batman. Can't lose him. 413 remaining. Well, uh, Donovan Wallace will go to the line. He's got 13 points. He had nine in the early. He had nine in the first quarter. He sat around quite a bit there in that third quarter. That one. That one did. Well, I've got him for 14 points. How many do you have for Wallace? 8, 10, 12, 14. Yeah, they got it wrong on the scoreboard. And they knocked them both down. Now he's got 15. Back to a 10 point lead halfway through this fourth quarter. Kyle Mills takes it in. Going to wave, belong to the wave. Kind of forced <laughs> that time, didn't yeah, yeah, he? Yeah, yeah. Trying to get the foul rather than the shot, maybe, but mm -hmm. <clears throat> taking and being aggressive with it. Coomer yeah, comes back in for Van Horn. Walker. Not, not far enough out no, yet. Yeah, he's too, a little too close to the basket. Get in there. The runner got, got it. it. Noah Walker, 18. big game. Yeah, nice game. Uh-oh. Has it blocked. Comes out of there. Boy, Tyler Waver really scrapping inside now, aren't they? And Kyle Joseph calls timeout. Yeah. Kyle Joseph was almost out to the center circle. <laughs> I know getting the fans fired up. Yeah. 346 left, and the Wave have scrapped their way back within eight at 77-69. Trailed by as many as 21, got it within six, and now back within eight. And uh, wow, the crowd is in it now. Yeah, I'll tell you what, they <laughs> give Greenville credit. They battled back. I mean, that's a heck of a deficit against a pretty good ball club, and that's off. Well, if nothing else, this could be an entertaining Green Wave ball club this year. Hey, I, I tell Those you what. Those keep hustling. You keep scrapping like that, never quit. I, you bet you'll be entertaining. That's good. Good for the Wave. Keep it up, boys. This game's not over. Let's get this first one to win tonight. Welcome back, everybody. 346 remaining, 77-69, your score. And wave ball. Wave ball, and the wave of battle back. You just joined us from a 21-point deficit, and have knocked this back to eight points. This will be Cooper to inbounds. And gets it ahead to Marcus Wood. Okay, set the offense up. We got Coomer, Van Horn. Walker. Let's see what we drew up off the play here. Boy, we got away with a walk there. Yeah, we did. 
And Coomer misses that little runner from the right side. He took a couple steps. So. I, thought we, I thought he traveled too. I did too, yeah. We'll take that. And to bring the ball out. They were willing to take it easy out there right now, kill a little clock. Well, they bring the pressure out in, inside to Walker. I don't know if he wanted that shot, but All he right. made it. Ready, nice little what. move inside. 12 points. That's a big basket, puts a double figure. Yeah, even three minutes to go here. Marcus dribbled right into the corner there, and that's not only a double team, that's a uh, four-man team there, isn't it? Sideline, half-court line, and two defenders. Dribbled into some trouble. But we maintain possession here. Yep. Got it. Every, every possession is big time right now. Ethan Saylor in there out front. So Mills, Van Horn, Coomer, Woods, and Saylor. There's Noah Walker. On the bench. Blocking foul called as Will Coomer goes to the basket. You call that foul on. Fouls on number three, Cameron Rucker. I guess when in doubt, give it to Rucker. Evidently. Double bonus, but it was a two shot foul regardless. Well, Will Coomer looking for some more points. The nice been held to just, just one. one. It came up short wow. on that. Well, I get that guy out for a while. He's going to hurt the wave that Dawson Walker yeah. takes a breather for. I don't know how many Dawson rebounds Mark. that guy's got tonight. If he'd hit half of the shots he had inside, he'd had 30 points tonight. <laughs> well, for Pete's sake, got Not it. That way. It looked a little short going yeah. up. Back within nine, 250. That's a long quarter, isn't it? Yes, it it's is. It's going to get longer, too. Need a stop here. Boy, he wanted to shoot, didn't yeah, he? Yeah, he did. Uh-oh. He'll shoot it. Short. Oh, thank goodness. Off Northmont. Green yeah, ball. Scrambled you there. know, one thing has happened a little bit here in the last eight, ten minutes. We've gotten a lot scrappier inside on the defensive glass. Don't you think? Oh, much more aggressive. Yeah, more aggressive on the board. And our turnover has been fantastic. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we've only had uh, Where, I eight turnovers up. there, and we just threw it away, didn't we? Yeah, I don't the sure that was gone. That Ty was House gone. Jinx lives on another year. Yeah, doggone it. Uh-oh. I'm worse than Sports Illustrated. Now. Boy, that hurt. So instead of having the ball down nine, now we're down 11 again with 2.12 to go here in the fourth quarter. But maybe North, you going to count that? He didn't count. You going to count the basket? We'll see. Yeah, they counted it. By golly. Wow. Ten points for Marcus Wood, and they call that foul on number two. That's Ben Weiss third. Wow. We'll they, gave him, they gave him the basket? Wow. NBA. <laughs> yeah. Kind of liking that. Hey guys, that's NBA, a, as long as you're uh, on the plus side of that one, that was. Yeah. Come on, Marcus. Get this thing within uh, eight again. He does. All right. Well, way we played a fan. Well, regardless of the outcome, the way to play a fantastic second half. Well, yeah, we've we've just kept scrapping and scrapping and scrapping and got back in this thing. Need another stop. Two minutes to go, trailing by eight. You know, Northman hasn't shown any real inclination to kind of hang on to the ball, have they? Not yet. See that Walker misses again. Uh oh, dang, got it. 16 and points for Perkins. Yeah, he gets two, three call. shots at the basket. Yeah. And they're just well, 83-73. And Northmont calls timeout with a minute 47 left. And uh, we'll take a timeout here on the Wave Channel 5. 23-19 was your score at the end of the first quarter here tonight. Greenville trailed 50-30 at halftime. Fought back within 13 at the end of uh, three. And then got within, what, six points, I think, when it time. 73-67. So with a minute 47 left, Wave trailing by 10, both teams in a double bonus, and Greenville ball out far into the court. Here comes Marcus Woods and need a bucket. Need a bucket bad. 
See if they set up anything off the out of bounds play. There they it did. Is. And in. Yep. Travel. Oh, what a shame. <coughs> oh, what a shame. Had an easy yep. good set That's too bad. There and Had it set up and then uh, yep. called for traveling. Good good call by Coach Joseph there. The play set up and doggone it. Fly. Well, we need a stop. If we don't get it pretty quick, we're going to have to foul and hope they go to the line. They're, they're not the world's greatest foul shooting team, are they? And there's Will yeah. Coomer. Is that his first foul for Coomer? Yeah, that's what I got. Yeah, it's first one. Good heavens. All that banging underneath there. And wow. First foul. It is. Well, this is going to be Foy at the line. Well, Ryan Foy has a, has a sore thumb on that shooting hand. Let's see if that affects it. He's got two shots here. 15 points. Makes mm -hmm. that. Wow. 16 points. A lot of scoring by individuals tonight. First well, game of the season, 84 points, 73 points. Wave have three in double digits, and uh, Northmont has four in double digits. Missed that one. Down by 11, minute 15 to go. Well, Wave, this is where they get a hand Yeah, that's quick. okay. Stop the clock. Let's score with the clock stop, right? Absolutely. This could have go either way. It could be boom, 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 boom. But the Wave of battle back made this a contest that Quite frankly, at halftime, uh, the 20 point lead didn't look as well, but give Greenville credit tonight. Win, lose, or draw. Come on, Marcus. 11 points to them, man. Make it 12. Atta boy. Sophomore had a nice game tonight. Before he takes a seat, thank goodness. With him and uh, Dawson underneath, that's a dynamic duo mm -hmm. there. Hits them both, back All within right, nine. Well, three possessions, right? Nine point advantage for the Bolts. Gotta foul him. Well, yeah, I was gonna say, I'd kinda like to see Walker handle the ball there in the back. Yeah, that's the guy you yeah. wanna foul. <laughs> Not this guy. Well, as I say in hockey, one minute. One minute. Trailing by nine. Going to have to get some pressure out here now. Can't let him play with it too long, can we? Yeah. Here's a double team and Woods Eat fouls Marcus. Wallace. You have all the people that mm. Ethan Saylor should have been the fouler. Is that his fifth? Yeah. Well, that's the second wave to foul out. Grant Minnick earlier, and then uh, Marcus Wood now picks up number five, and Marcus... Goes out, has 11 points tonight, if I'm not mistaken. Yep. I got Marcus Wickle more than that. Well, let's see, four, six. I got him for 11. At the line, Donovan Wallace comes up short. I'll tell you what, it's a good thing North wants a little shake at the foul line here this half. Yeah, it's that one. 10 point lead, 49 seconds left. Sailor. A three here would be nice. How about this? Nope. Hit the upright or the bracing behind the bank board and goes over to Northmont. Back within 10. I know, Ty, it's getting late now, isn't it? Yes, it is. Two ball clubs. Both with a lot of new players uh, at the varsity level and uh, fairly entertaining game here tonight. A lot of turnovers early and kind of been cut down a little bit later on. Here's a foul on Ethan Saylor. Yeah, it's going to get kind of out of hand at the foul line here. As far as the clock's concerned, Ty, it's uh, after 9.30 and this last quarter's taken about half an hour itself. Oh, yeah, for sure. This will be Perkins to shoot. Double bonus. Young man came off the bench and uh, had a pretty good ball game, hadn't he? Yes, he has. Got him for 15? I got him for 16? 16, 17. That's wrong. I got 17 points. I missed that one. We'll figure it out. Wave on the dribble drive. Yeah, the call says, I'll take one more. Not this time. Uh-oh. Had a man open down court. 
And another foul. Well, I'm not so sure we need to keep fouling. But no, at this point in time. 11 point the... lead with 28 seconds left. And Tyler Biking. Yep. And it's good to keep trying, but uh, this is going to come time to just call it off, right? Yep. Jamal Linson at the line to shoot double bonus. They're going <laughs> to. Northmont, one thing they're going to have to work on this week, if they're going to win many games, they got to definitely improve their foul shooting. <laughs> Good Lord. That's kept the wave in the you game. Know, this here. quarter's uh, just been fairly atrocious. Continues that way. Well, we know that earlier we'd have fouled a lot yeah, more. Yeah, we should have started fouling when they got off the bus. Kyle says, I'll take that. I'll no. try it again. Kyle's one for 99 here in late recently. Oh, blocked by Dawson. Uh oh. Yeah, it's going to pull it back out. Don't yeah, foul. Don't foul. Don't foul. Down don't to foul 12 it. seconds. Yeah. Finally don't foul. Out. Yeah, he's My golly. Coach Joseph's called it, and here's a steal by Walker. Ball tipped out. Wave will have it under the basket. Three seconds left. So. Yeah, if Greenwood would have fouled, I'd have had to come out of my yeah. seat here. That was silly. <laughs> Play hard at the end, but after a while, you got to yeah. know when at the end. Well, if we score, let's hope we don't call timeout. Block. Out of bounds. Try pretty, it again. Pretty obvious you're going to shoot. That. Yeah. yeah, 24. Dan uh, Lewis yeah. slammed that right back down. He said, you might have hit a couple fours tonight, Mr. Walker, but not this one. At that slow set shot. And we throw it away for another turnover. So. Well, that wraps things up here. 86-75. The final score is Northmont's Thunderbolts take home a win. Tyler will be back in just a minute with uh, post-game comments and scoring here on the Wave Channel 5. First game of the 2017-18 uh, season in the books here as Northmont Thunderbolts go home a winner going down Route 49 with the benefit of an 86-75 score and tie uh, a Greenville ball club that, that we got behind 21, got back within six in the late going, and, uh, and then Northmont just kind of pulled away there in the last uh, minute or so. But a scrappy effort, by the way, tonight. Hey, well, coming back from that uh, being down by 21 points, and, and this is now midway through the third quarter, sort of make a big comeback and uh, battle all the way to, like you say, close to six points. Score didn't come up. 86-75 is a lot closer than that final score it would have indicated because of the fouls, et cetera, at the very end. But, hey, gave away credit. Nice scrappy. Hate to say a loss, but uh, they look good in defeat. Well, the one way. thing that really played in the way's favor there in that second half was the fact that we cut our turnovers from 20 turnovers in the first half, cut it down to just 10-11 in the second half. So that, that was huge. gave us some advantage there. Take a look at the scoring for uh, Colin Abel's Northmont Thunderbolts, 12 points, Dawson Walker, uh, and did a great job on the boards. I'll tell you, he was S outstanding. How 17 for Jabari did. Perkins off the bench, 16 Donovan Wallace, uh, 16 points for Ryan Foy, 8 for Mathis, 8 for uh, Lewis, 20 of 37 for the uh, T-Bolts from the foul line. Ty, how about the wave? Hey, for the uh, wave, we had 3 points for Grant Minnick, 11 points for Marcus Wood, 12 points, Tyler Beike. Two points, Will Coomer. 12 points, Noah Van Horn. 17 points, Kyle Mills. And 18 points, Noah Walker. The Wave, 15 to 26 from the charity stripe. So, you know, first time out, kids that really haven't played a lot of uh, varsity action, we had five and double figures. Not bad. So, anyhow, so uh, Wave uh, showed a little life there in the second half, played much better, and uh, we'll hope that continues. Tomorrow night, we'll be taping the game as the uh, Fort Recovery Indians come down and take on the Wave here at home. And... Uh, Ty, hopefully uh, pull off a win tomorrow you night. You betcha. Well, on behalf of our cameraman producer, Tyler Fleming, Ty House, Alex Warner, glad you could join us tonight. Once again, the final score here at the high school gym, Northmont 86 and the Wave 75. Good night, everybody.